In today's video, I wanted to explain how the armor in Marauders works. It is pretty basic at the moment with a simple formula and the armor class being a straight up damage mitigation number. The formula goes as follows, so shot damage minus the armor value times the amount of projectiles if applicable applicable to shotguns times limb multiplier equal damage. So the current limb multipliers are as follows, 0.7x for the legs, 1x for the body and arms, and 3.5x for headshots. Currently, armor covers the entirety of the specific hitbox. So chest armor protects everything in the upper body, which includes chest, back, arms, and such. For the head, there is a singular hitbox as of now. So even if you have a helmet that doesn't visually cover the front of your face, it is still protected the same as the back. Thus, using a welding mask versus a Stalheim gives you no direct advantage or disadvantage, except looking really cool with the welding mask. From this point forward, I'll refer to the chest, back, and arms as upper body. So as an example, let's just use the STG-44. It has a base damage of 30. If you're wearing class 6 armor, that damage is brought down to 24, and then you would apply the limb multiplier except for legs, as there is currently no leg armor, and they are not protected by chest armor either. So that would mean 24 damage if the shot hits you on the upper body. If the person gets a headshot on you, that would equate to 84 damage. As mentioned earlier, lower body damage is consistent throughout the board as there is no leg armor, so that would be 21 damage. Great. Now that I have this out of the way, I made a little spreadsheet so that you can visually see damage numbers and bullets to kill for each weapon, except shotguns, as that's another can of worms because there's number of pellets and damage per pellet, so it kind of gets a little bit complicated to calculate depending on how many pellets actually hits the person. Um, so yeah, it can be kind of a pain to do that, but I will probably add that to the spreadsheet eventually. So the main reason I made this spreadsheet is to come to the conclusion that there's an armor sweet spot and that the higher class armor you get doesn't necessarily yield as much of an advantage as you might think. So if we look at the damage stats here, so I have damage stats and bullets to kill for both primary weapons minus the shotguns and pistols. So if we look at damage stats here, you have them per class. So the Klob Uzi Sten would do 20 damage base, these ones 21 and so on. So, so we have the armor classes here. So there actually isn't a level one or level two armor and three and four are only for helmets. There is no level three or four uh, chest armor. That's only the helmets. So if we go down the board here, I highlighted the ones that would one shot you, okay, in the head. So uh, obviously these guns are too weak to one shot headshot and if we move down the board here, the higher caliber uh, weapon you shoot, then you're starting to get into the one-shot territory on, in the head. So it starts off with the uh, these class of weapons, so STG-44 and the M50 Reasing will one-shot anybody that doesn't have a helmet. Then the Heavy MG-42, the Brennan, the M16 will one-shot in the head up to someone that's wearing a beret. So a beret does offer some protection. Then the DP-28 will headshot, one shot headshot up to class four, uh, the BAR up to class five, DeLil up to class seven. So surprisingly powerful for what it is. Um, MG-42, which does more damage per shot uh, than the heavy MG-42. So that will one shot up to class nine armor. And then SVT-40 and M1941 Johnson will one shot to the face no matter the armor you're wearing on your head. So if we translate that into bullets to kill, just to give you guys an idea of how many bullets it would take to actually kill someone in Marauders, uh, depending on what class body armor they're wearing and uh, what gun you're using and where you're shooting them. So we have the lower body, uh, upper body, and the headshots. So you can see that in certain cases, it's better to shoot somebody in the legs if they're wearing really high level armor, like level 10 armor. If you're using like the Klob or the Viper MK1, uh, technically, if you're not aiming for headshots, you'd probably be better off shooting them in the legs because you're doing more damage per shot. But I digress. You can just see here that um, if we go down the board, there obviously there are still some weapons that can one shot headshot you in the, in the face. But um, you start to see a diminishing return here. Uh, the higher class armor you go, especially for the higher level or higher tier weapons, you can see that class 6 still protects you mostly and it still takes 4 or 5 shots throughout the board, except of course the higher tier weapons like the SVT-40 and the M1941 Johnson. It still takes 4 to 5 shots for all of these weapons here, so MG-42, DeLil, uh, all the way up to the... Like Kraza even, 
uh, and the STG44, it still protects you from at least five rounds, uh, unless, of course, the person hits you in the face, in which case then that'll bring these total bullets to kill down. Um, but you can see that Class 6 is kind of a sweet spot here because it does protect you very well against lower caliber uh, ammo, and it does still protect you very well against higher level or higher tier weapons like the Johnson, the SVT-40, the MG-42. And then if we move up the headshots, um, most of these weapons do so much damage that they're going to headshot you no matter the level of helmet you have. So, for example, if you're wearing a level 10 helmet, you can see that most weapons will still drop you in two to three shots, no matter the level you're wearing. So, it, at the lower end, so we have the these weapons here, uh, all the way up, I think, to the MP40, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, so all the way up to the MP40, you're going to get three-shot headshotted by these if you're wearing Class 10 armor, but that would be the same case for Class 9 helmets, or Class 8 helmets. So that's what I'm trying to explain here, is there is definitely diminishing returns the higher class armor you go. And if we go down the board here, you can see that, you know, these he one-shot headshot you no matter what, and Class 8 will still protect you from one-shot headshots all the way up to the MG42. And the MG42 is pretty difficult to get headshots with because you can't ADS. It's, it's just, you're just like shouldering the weapon. Um, so yeah, I tend to go in with Class uh, 8 body armor just because I like having the extra pouches. But you would probably be served just as well using a flak rig with pouches and like a Class 8 helmet maybe or even a class 6 helmet is really really good because you're only going to be getting one shot by these four weapons if somebody hits you in the face and it does all the same for body shots so if we move up to pistols here, a lot less pistols but some of them really do a lot of damage most notably the oberez so you can see that the well rod and the oberez will one shot headshot you no matter what class armor you're wearing the well rod is an absolute beast and the oberez even more so this is the highest damaging weapon in the game i think uh, for, for single shots, like if we're not talking about shotguns here, the Oberes just absolutely shreds. It's just really hard to shoot because it doesn't have a front post on the weapon. Uh, the flare gun might might do a lot of damage. I'm not 100% sure. I think it might be a little bit less than the Mosin, um, but the, the flare gun is kind of a unique weapon here. But if we look at damage stats, so the government will one-shot somebody with no head armor, and then these two, it doesn't matter what you're wearing, it's going to one-shot you to the face. So then if we move to bullets to kill, again, one-shot headshot. So if you're wearing like class 6 armor, it'll take somebody three shots at least to kill you if you're wearing class 6. So that is like, again, the sweet spot being class 6 armor. And if we look for uh, helmets, um, one, th these don't matter. And then anything over over a class 3 helmet, so a beret, will protect you. So, with all this being said, I just wanted to explain how armor works. Right now, it's just a flat damage mitigation number. So whatever armor class you're wearing, if you're wearing class 10, that takes 10 damage off the shot that you're getting hit with. Unless, of course, they're hitting you in the legs. Um, and then you apply the damage modifier. I do think this might change in the future, where they're going to add different hitboxes, kind of like how Tarkov does it. They have a bunch of different hitboxes, and if the helmet doesn't physically protect your face, then it won't protect you. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to explain this to people because a lot, of, a lot of players wonder how body armor functions in Marauders, and this is how it functions. So don't always get caught up on bringing out the best stuff all the time because more often than not, Class 6, 7, or 8 armor will probably perform just as well as the big, bad, full Panzer rig and the M5 helmet. But anyways, I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And as always, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one.